Hi guys, this is Katie and today we are heading to the T77 community for the Mad Face Food Week. This is a food festival that happens here every year in Bangkok and it hasn't happened for the last two years because of Covid but it is happening this year. Super excited to get tucked in so let's go! So I believe this food festival used to happen in like around the river area but this year it was happening in T77 community area which is an area that's not too far from where we live and it's very near Onlat BTS and this is like a garden centre it's your closest that you're going to get to a garden centre here in Bangkok and it's really lovely and really peaceful and I will definitely head back here and show you the garden centres in a separate video because we actually have been here quite a lot we get our flowers from here it's a really lovely place to visit so I will definitely share that soon but we just grabbed a taxi here it's not too far and I am very it was really busy there's a lot of traffic coming towards the um the festival because it was a lot more popular than I expect it to be there was a lot of expats there there were a lot of locals there and basically what this is is an opportunity for lots of different local restaurants to come together and showcase their food and share their food and we go in listen to DJs and different uh, music uh, like there was lots of different kind of music performances and then go around and try food so it was 100 baht for a ticket and it would get you a drink so you can get yourself a beer when you walk in and also go around and explore the different food places so we have here they gave you like a bingo sheet i'll be honest we didn't actually eat that much food here because we were just enjoying the atmosphere and listening to the music but you get a drink coupon and we picked up our beer and then spent some time listening to the music that was playing there was a woman here and she was amazing so as you first walked in there was like a little dj booth i will not play too much of this music so i don't get copyright strike but basically she was playing 90s hip-hop music so callum was in his element bless him um, and then we had like a little drink and we were chilling out here and they also had this situation where if you wanted to buy a drink you had to buy a coupon to buy a drink I'm not entirely sure but it didn't take too long to do so I was happy with that you could pay cash or you could use the QR code that a lot of places weren't accepting cards and then this is the back of my idol so if you have never seen a video about someone in Bangkok there's a guy called Mark Weens we love him he is a food vlogger and we started watching him in like 2012 i think it was before we came to bangkok for our first ever trip here love his videos and he was at this food festival so we bumped into him had a photo he was super friendly um so i'm so happy that we got to meet him and we also very briefly met his friend bkk fatty and he was he's also an amazing youtuber so i'll leave those links in the description below but they are both fantastic food vloggers and if you're looking for food vloggers especially food in thailand then definitely check those out because they were a lot better than i am so anyway we are going around and looking at food and they have lots of different types of food here and i'll be honest guys i have mixed feelings about this place so i really enjoyed the vibe of this place we enjoyed having a drink listening to the music and chilling out but food wise there was lots of variety of food but there wasn't I, I don't know why I, I expected there to be more like Thai food from different regions and it wasn't it was kind of like butterbeer which I don't know what that is I'm not sure why <laughs> when they had butterbeer but it was there was a lot of fish like there was a lot of seafood which is great but there was also kind of a lot like like one of the most popular areas was like a nacho stand which I just I don't know um I wasn't there for the nachos let's say that but they have lots of different food and there were some Thai food and there was some actually there was one place that did some Indian food um, which looked amazing and there's so there's lots and lots of opportunities and lots of variety here um, and there was like bakery places here they had like Vietnamese food that had like banh mi's which was, looked great and lots of kind of variety and I will say the prices really weren't too bad considering you're at like a big food festival sometimes I know if you go to like markets that are similar to this in like england they were being more expensive than it would be normally but yeah the prices were pretty pretty standard for thailand um yes you had like mango stands and lemonade stands as well and it was so busy and so guys i'm filming this now showing you what it was like and this was i think i want to say it was about five o'clock 
and we kind of looked around and was looking at food at this moment in time I went back around at like I want to say it was about six half six because we went and got a drink and listened to there was a different section where these guys were playing dance music and we were enjoying the music there I went back around afterwards and it was absolutely heaving like I couldn't get to any of the stands and we ended up just picking up a small dish which I'll show you in a minute but it was really it gets really really busy so next time when they have this type of festival I think I'm gonna go early on the first day so this was like the Sunday it ran from Friday Saturday Sunday this was on the Sunday and it was really really busy but yes yeah, so you can see they have loads of food available and I, I kind of discovered a little area that had a bit more local dishes as well which is great and because this is a garden center you can go around and look at like the hen house or the duck house like i said if you are living in bangkok and you want a really like chilled out afternoon then just go to this place on a normal day because the, 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 the they have like little animals and like a little pond and they have lots of like greenery and they have a, like a, um, a garden center where you can buy plants and it's really lovely and relaxing and there's actually like a farm shop here and a little restaurant that yeah it's a great place we really enjoy it so anyway this is there's lots of because of that reason there's lots of places to eat and lots of like places to stop and have a drink and like sit down and there's lots of areas to sit on the grass as well um, so there was plenty of options for us and we picked up a little bite to eat and spent our evening listening to this like dance act that was like in the back of the the festival and it was really good fun and that was kind of how we spent our evening so we didn't eat too much here but we did enjoy listening to the music and just chilling out for a nice Sunday it kind of reminded me of like Ibiza if you've ever been to Ibiza me and Callum went in oh when was it 2015 great fun I love Ibiza or maybe it was 2016 I can't remember when we went but it was great fun and it, it was like that type of vibe of like chilling out I felt like I was on holiday uh, because obviously it, it's plenty warm to be as well so yeah it was a great little event and I'm super happy that we went and I'll definitely be going back next year so thank you so much for watching this video and supporting me make sure you hit subscribe in our next video we're actually heading to a different market we are heading to the farmers market which happens once or twice a month at the Ekamai Gateway shopping mall and I wanted to share this with you and share like just a little uh, taste of local life here so we head to the market and that is our next video so make sure you hit subscribe to see that and thank you as always for your support and I shall see you very soon bye